Wow. Good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of Dr. Ramona Jackson Jones, Chair of the Douglas County Board of Commissioners, and Madam Mayor Rochelle Robinson and the City Council members, we warmly welcome you to today's event. Can all elected officials please stand and be properly recognized before you begin? Thank you. Thank you so much. And now, ladies and gentlemen, as we prepare to begin, wonderful moment, I have the honor to introduce our MC. And before the MC, I even forgot to say who I was. I'm sorry, so much excitement here. My name is Rick Martin. I'm Director of Communications and Community Relations for Douglas County. This woman is one that is no stranger to your television set. Over 30 years of news anchoring here in Atlanta metropolitan area. Please put your hands together for Karen Greer, your MC. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for, our guest of honor, the one and only five-time U.S. Olympian, Alana Myers-Taylor. what I'm talking about. Hey, Alana, that is, as you know, a big surprise for you, Drumline Pep Squad from your alma mater at Lithia Springs High School. Let's hear it for the band. How awesome is that? That's a way to get things started, right? So as we celebrate Women's History Month, Alana has made history as most the most decorated female bobsledder in Olympic history. Most decorated black athlete in Winter Olympics history. Most decorated U.S. bobsledder of any gender and oldest American woman, I don't like to say that part, to win a Winter Olympic medal. Let's hear it for Alana. Thank you so much for being an extraordinary person and making us all proud right here in Douglasville, Douglas County, by winning again and again. We're going to get started with the invocation to be given by Senior Pastor of Crossroads for Life Ministries, Dr. Edwin Ford. I am so honored. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, as we come boldly before your throne of grace, God, to we attain mercy and find help in this time of need as we honor your servant today, God. God, we lift up your name, we hollow your name, we magnify your name for the great things you have accomplished and executed in her life. Father, we come, God, as her prayer that she might bring glory to your name. And God, she has surely brought glory to your name today, God. God, we lift up her and her family, her husband, Nick, her son, Nico. God, we pray right now that your countenance would shine upon them, God. God, you say, he who ruleth well is worthy of double honor. And God, she has done well today. And we come as a neighborhood, as a community of Douglas County and Douglasville, Georgia, to honor her, to give you reverence for the life that you've allowed us to celebrate here on today. God, we pray that this program, the leaders, our elected officials, 
officials, our appointed officials, those who are in authority, God, that you would bless them, God, tremendously, God. Let this be an occasion like no other. Shine your glory, God, in this place on today. God, let healing be in this audience today, God. Let miracles, signs, and wonders be a result of us honoring the legacy of this life of our honorary on today, Elena Myers Taylor. And we'll forever give your name all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory. And it's in your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And God bless you, Elena. Amen. Thank you so much, Dr. Ford. Now it's time for the national anthem to be sung by Douglas County's very own Nicole Escobar, the music educator at Beulah Elementary School. Thank you so much for joining us. Let's give her a big round of applause. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled That was absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much for that. Wow, we can see why you're a music educator. Keep up the great work. Now for a special presentation to Alana Myers Taylor, we would call on now Douglas County Board of Commissioners Chairwoman Dr. Ramona Jackson Jones. Thank you so much. This is the day the Lord has made. And before I start, I would like to invite my fellow board members up, Board of Commissioners, Commissioner Carthen and Vice Chairman Robinson, if you could just join me. I would appreciate it. Certainly, I'm so excited to be part of this exciting experience to honor and recognize one of our very own. Let's give her a hand again. She's amazing. <laughs> Alana Myers Taylor has competed in the Olympics four times now. There are athletes around the world who train and compete for the opportunity to participate in the Olympics and don't even get that chance. Alana, has, uh, you have done what no other person has done. You are a remarkable person who fosters a source of strength, honor, and honesty representing Douglas County Douglas and Douglasville. And with your recent history-making achievements at the Beijing Olympics, it is an honor and a privilege to present you the Outstanding Achievement Award. It reads, Alana Myers Taylor, in recognition of your extraordinary achievements in the 2022 Winter Olympics in Beijing, China, and the example you represent for Douglas County, Georgia. Thank you and may God bless you. 
And before you come up, um, Mrs. Myers, I would like my fellow commissioners to just provide a few remarks in honor of all your accomplishments. And we are so proud of you in Douglas County. We are humbled to stand here. And it was just so amazing to watch you on national television win, because I know you're a winner. Douglas County is a winner, so let's give her a hand again. She's amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Vice Chairman Robinson, if you would come forth, give a few words. Uh, Ms. Myers Taylor, again, um, hometown. Um, your grace, your class, your strength, all things related to Douglasville and Douglas County. Um, I'm very proud to have met you twice, um, and uh, maybe there's more, but again, I'll keep this very short. I mean, again, just keep going. You, you stand for something that we all can be proud for a star in Douglas County's horizon in our skyline. Thank you for what you do. Thank you. Commissioner Carthen, Terenia Carthen, District 3. Ms. Myers, this is so apropos as we stand here in the middle of Women's History Month. You are a history maker, and your story is our story. And we're so proud that you are Douglas County, Douglasville grown. Congratulations. We look forward to seeing many more goals that you will achieve. Thank you. Let's hear it again for Lana Myers Taylor. And the wonderful, wonderful surprise from Douglasville. All right. Thank you so much, Chairwoman Jones. I'd like to now call up our Deputy County Commissioner, Mr. Fred Perry, to come to the microphone for some remarks. Yes, sir. <laughs> Be ye also always ready. That's what they told me in church. So I just want to uh, thank Miss Elena Myers for her grace, for her class, for her style. Um, it's always been our aspiration to continue to raise the profile of Douglas County. We have, you have done that single-handedly, and we thank you for all that you've done, for all that you mean to these young women out here. Uh, we thank you for that. I only hope that I can inspire as you have. God bless you, God bless your family, God bless your husband, and uh, Nico. All be well, God bless. All right, and would now like to welcome the mayor of this great city of Douglas to join us, my sorority sister, I have to get that in, a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, Mayor Robinson, thank you so much. It is such a pleasure to be here. I'll ask my city council members, my colleagues, to come on the stage as well as I uh, give brief comments. I'm not gonna put you on the spot and make you say anything. I just would like you to come up. Where's Councilmember Adams and Estes and Mayor Pro Tem? Though they were at the reception, so okay. Come on up, city manager. Boom, boom. So um, first of all, I'd like to thank Ms. Karen Greer, a great woman in the community. And as she said, my sorority sister and um, <laughs> the city manager as well, and we have a gift from you from the city of Douglas. That's for you. Oh, it's for you. Thank, you. thank you so much. She has some big things coming up. She won't tell us. Can I say it or I can't say it? Guess what? She's going to be changing positions. You will now see the great Karen Greer on WSB as the anchor. So let's give her a hand. She's moving. Alana Myers Taylor, you are an awesome woman, an awesome woman of God, an awesome woman of faith, 
grit and determination. You are such an inspiration to women who want to aspire to do great things. And I heard you talking about when you tried out for Olympics in baseball because you had gone to George Washington University and that was something that you wanted to do and you didn't make it on the baseball team. But guess what? God had a plan. He wanted you to be on the bobsled team. So we're just excited. And it really is to show young people that sometimes you can strive for something, but if you're going for anything great, don't give up the first time. Continue to push on. And so I'll read this, but I wanted to personally say to you, thank you so very much for being so gracious. Every time we ask you to come home, if you're in California or, on the, or the other part of the world, you make your way home, and we really appreciate that, that you recognize where you're from and you give back. You've been my um, marshal, grand marshal for the parade, the 4th of July parade. You've been home several times and received the key of the city and plaques. And so I didn't know what else to give you because you keep winning all the time. So we had something special, especially made for you, and I'll ask council member um, Davis to hold it up and hopefully you can wear it with pride when you there you go something different <laughs> so this letter briefly says dear mrs. Myers Taylor the United States Olympic team member represents the strength of our nation and the destiny of American greatness at home and around the world come on now I am proud to have joined every American in applauding the athletes as they reach for their dreams. I am once again so proud to have the opportunity to cheer you on, on of Douglasville's own throughout this historic event. Your Olympic success has marked your place in history, but really in my heart because of the passion that you have for your family and your son. Our community is so very proud of what you've achieved and we're excited to see what things you're going to inspire, inspire us in the future. I'm proud again to join the people of Douglasville and the Douglasville City Council when honoring you as the United States Olympic team in Beijing, China. May God bless you and your family, and may God continue to bless the United States of America. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. And tell your dad I said, hello, that's one of my Rotarian brothers. He comes to Rotary sometimes in Douglasville. So let me give this to your husband. Oh, sure. Okay, okay, thank you. We'll just put it in your seat. Thank you so much. Let's give her another hand as we sit down. Fabulous, fabulous, all right. And can we have Mrs. Marsha Hampton, Douglasville city manager, join us. Thank you, Ms. Greer. And as a staff person for elected officials, you understand that you lead from behind. So what I will say is there's nothing that I can say um, that would be more important than what the mayor said, but from a staff person who understands that when you have the right support team behind you, you can do everything and there's nothing that you can. And it just shows just what your family and who you are, you have chosen the right support team. So congratulations to you and your family and God bless. And I have something to say, I'm sorry. <laughs> I want to say one thing, Elena, surely goodness and city of Douglasville shall follow you all the days of your life. Thank you, amen. I love it, thank you so much. Now, if any of you guys had a chance to watch the Olympics, you saw Alana is all about family and never forgets her community, including her high school alma mater, Lithia Springs High School, let me hear it. I mean, and the principal of Lithia Springs High School is here. I can get him to stand up for me, and you guys give him a round of applause. So on behalf now of the Douglas County School System, I'd like to introduce the superintendent, Dr. Trent North. Dr. North, please join us. I feel like it's an AKA event up here. We're, we're, we're three and a half in a row. I'm not one, but my wife is. So we're just continuing the peak and green tradition up here. There you go. I am so excited. You know, my girls and I watched your performance. I was nervous uh, when you had COVID, and I was praying that you were able to compete.
because I knew that you were going to make history again. And as always, God partnered with you, and you represented Douglas County well. So first I want to start by saying congratulations. I want to say congratulations as a father of two daughters who was uh, very competitive. His daughters were athletically. And so being a female in competing, you, you have to work harder because we hadn't always invested in sports and, and trainers and support. And so your accomplishments can't be recognized without the additional hurdles you had to go over just to compete at the level that you did. So congratulations. And I believe it all started because of the Douglas County school system. She started off at elementary school and attended Arbor Station. And then she w moved from Arbor Station to Chestnut Log Middle School and then from Chestnut Log to Lithia Springs High School. So we are excited and we celebrate with you as well. I'm gonna ask uh, Mr. Devisha and Carwell, board member to come up and we have some gifts for you. And I want you to open one. So we believe that when God puts two together, you want to recognize both because you talked to us last time about how the both of you train and work and how he was just as competitive. And we know that you like bling, so I'm going to open yours and we have the exact same thing for you and your husband. Okay? This wraps so beautifully, you hate to unwrap it. I, I didn't do the wrapping. <laughs> So it's a, a Douglas County school system watch with the Douglas County logo on there. Uh, and there's, there's one for her, and then there's one for her husband as well, a male and female. And then we wanted her, when she's traveling abroad, to represent Douglas County. And if you open up the second one for us. She's one of those that saves the Christmas boxes for next year. <laughs> and the wrapping and the bow. And then something to remember your high school by. That's a, a scarf, a toboggan, Little Springs High School. Dressed and ready for our next bobsled event. I love it. Let's give them another big round of applause. And now, last but not least, Tiffany Stewart Stanley, Assistant County Administrator for Douglas County. So, good evening, everyone. I am Tiffany Stewart Stanley. I'm the Assistant County Administrator for Douglas County. I just want to first state what an honor and a pleasure it is to share a stage with such a great American, a great Olympian. I want to thank you because I was able to make all my friends and family jealous back in Mississippi that we have an Olympian from my, home, my town. So I want to appreciate you for that. Before I get started with my special presentation, I would like to um, introduce Mr. Nicholas Miranda, the chairman of the Douglas County Youth Commission. He's gonna come up and say a few words. So my name is Nicholas Miranda and I'm a senior at Harvester Christian Academy and the chairman of the Dug hmm, Douglas County Youth Commission. Don't know what that was. Um, on behalf of the youth of Douglas County, 
I'd like to congratulate Alana Myers-Taylor on her many accomplishments and thank her for being an inspiration to myself and so many others around the world. Thank you. So I am here with a special presentation from our governor, Governor Brian Kemp. He couldn't be here today, but he wanted to formally recognize our hometown Olympian, Ms. Alana Myers-Taylor, with a formal commendation from his office. And it reads, by the governor of the state of Georgia, a commendation. Whereas Alana Myers-Taylor, a native of Douglasville, Georgia, made history at the 2022 Winter Olympic Games with a silver medal in the inaugural women's monobob competition and a bronze medal in the two-person bobsled, making her the most decorated black athlete in winter's Olympics history. And whereas Myers-Taylor has long served as a source of inspiration and pride for her state and nation, first competing in the 2010 Winter Olympics where she won a bronze medal and following this performance with the silver medals in the 2014 and 2018 games. And whereas Meyer Taylor, Myers Taylor has set herself apart through her grit and determination, overcoming obstacles such as a torn Achilles tendon in the 2018 and a positive COVID-19 test in 2022. None of these challenges could prevent her from reaching the pinnacle of her sport. And whereas Myers Taylor continues to serve as a leader for her fellow athletes, having been selected by her teammates to carry the U.S. flag at both the opening and closing ceremonies of the 2022 games, and showing that women can start a family while continuing to compete at the highest level of their sports. And whereas the state of Georgia is proud to honor her one of our greatest athletes, Alana Myers Taylors, whose accomplishments both on and off the track have established her as a shining example for generations now. I, Brian P. Kemp, Governor of the State of Georgia, do hereby commend Alana Myers Taylor. Thank you. Awesome, let's give them another big round of applause. And um, before I leave, we have another special surprise by our mayor, Mayor Rochelle Robinson. I apologize, I did not listen to my elder and they told me to do this for you, um, Olympian, and I didn't, I was trying to hurry up and they texted me and said, you didn't do what I said, so I'm gonna do what they said. They want me to serenade you. Oh, beautiful, for spacious skies, for amber waves of grain, for purple mountains' majesties above the fruited plain, America, America, God shed his grace on thee and crown thy good with brotherhood from sea to shining sea. I've never met a mayor with a voice like that. Fabulous, or fabulous. And I see the band down here before I'm off. Are you guys doing another something, something? No, ma'am? Okay, I see you down here. Just wanted to make sure. All right, let's give a big, another big round of applause because now we're going to get Alana to the microphone and ask her some of the questions you want to know. Give her a big round of applause. <laughs> USA, that's right. Those medals are heavy, too, if you get a chance to, to stand with her a little later on. Alana, tell us, what has this experience been like for you? Oh, this has just been the craziest, wildest experience I could ever imagine. Um, not just 
you know, going to the Olympics and everything with the Beijing Olympics and everything everyone's been through with the past two years with COVID, you know, just coming on the other side of it and actually being able to win medals. You know, a huge debt of gratitude, not only to my husband, my son, my family, my friends, and all of you guys back home for all the support and encouragement because these were a pretty crazy game. So I really appreciate all you guys have done for me. And let me just say, Nick is more than the husband. He is her coach now, trainer. Stand up, Nick. I told Alana I hadn't seen her in years and how lean and mean she was for this Olympic game. And Nick said, oh, yeah, she's got a great trainer. I was like, um, might that be you? <laughs> also so, my chiropractor now, too. So also the chiropractor, yes. He is now a doctor of chiropractic so. medicine. So proud, so <laughs> proud of you. And people want to know, will you retire or return again for the 2026 Winter Games? So in bobsled, every year we have eight World Cup competitions and a World Championships. So I will return to competition. Um, and we're just going to take it year by year for now and see what happens leading into the 2026 Games. I think right now it's too soon to commit to another four years. So right now we're just taking it step by step and seeing what happens. But you might even see me there. I also heard a little birdie say you are looking at growing your family. Yes, I think everyone would agree Nico needs a brother or sister. So uh, definitely looking to grow our family a little more. Let's give Alana a big round of applause. She is so genuine, so wonderful, so sweet, and so dedicated to everybody here in Douglasville and Douglas County. All right, I'd like to take a moment to thank you all for coming out to honor and recognize our five-time U.S. Olympic medalist, Alana Myers-Taylor. And it was an honor and privilege to be your mistress of ceremonies for this wonderful occasion. Let's give another big round of applause to the city of Douglasville and the mayor, communications department, Rick, his crew for helping put this all together. What an awesome evening. And as we come to a close, we'd like to invite you all to head upstairs towards the food court. And there you can take a photo with Alana. So thank you all. Hope you had a wonderful evening. Did I miss anything? Did I miss anybody? All right. Have a great night.